Digikey, and Adafruit bring you in. All right, this has become one of our more popular segments in the show. Mm -hmm. We have this as a standalone video that we have every Thursday as well. Um, the latest, the greatest, all the new products that you want. Digikey has them. Lady Ada picks the cool ones, the things that she wants to share, and then we call it I on MPI. This week, right. Molex. Molex is this week. Well, we spent a lot of time in the last few weeks looking at wireless chips and sensors and microcontrollers and all sorts of like kind of complicated advanced stuff. And I saw this pop up on the DigiKey like slash new uh, NPI release website. They were announcing um, this new partnership with Molex. And I was like, oh yeah. You know, a lot of people don't think about the cables. The cables are, you know, an extremely important part of every electronic design. But, um, you know, a bad cable will like totally mess everything up. And it's a really common. Oftentimes cables come loose or a cable, um, you know, a wire comes out of the connector or uh, it's not tinned correctly. And so maybe like it gets rusty and then your entire product doesn't work. And it's pretty sad because everything else may be beautifully designed, but if you don't spend time to get good connectors and good cables, nothing works. Um, another thing that's frustrating about uh, if people pick bad connectors and cables is that sometimes you don't find out till weeks, months, or even years after the product has been released. So you end up having to do recalls and repairs, or you know, you have uh, people have a, you get a bad reputation for your product failing after a few months or years, which is no good. So I like Molex connectors. They're solid, they're dependable. They've been doing this for a really long time. And uh, Another thing is, you know, well, let's say you design your product that has multiple boards or maybe it has some buttons and a button board. You want to have a connector on each end and then a cable that connects them. And, uh, you know, we take cables for granted as engineers. We don't realize that they're actually really difficult to make correctly and um, they can be fairly complicated. Wiring harnesses are not simple things. And so um, if you're designing a product and you want to get some custom cables made, um, historically, you would either have to go to like a factory that was, you know, that would do cable design and you would go and talk to them and it would take a really long time to get samples made or you would DIY them, which always ends up being a lot more complicated and time consuming than you think. Or now you can use the Molex and DigiKey custom cable creator. That's like right. The CCC as I like to call it. That's right. And, uh, you know, we'll show uh, a video and some other things, but it's DigiKey.com. Uh, slash n slash product dash highlight slash m slash molex slash custom dash cable dash creator. However, you could just type digikey custom cable creator and it'll just, it'll in any search idea. engine and it'll just go there. Okay. Um, but let's start this let's adventure. Let's go on a journey. Okay. So I was right. like, of course, I'm going to have to create a custom cable. Okay. So you click on the button to get started. All okay. Right. Then what? So there's going to be three parts. Uh, well, let's get a little bit more afterwards, but side A, which is one end connector, and then the cable length and, and specifications, and then side B, which is where our faces are at right now, but you would pick the other connector. Remember, it doesn't have to be the same connector. Sometimes you have harnesses that go from you know, one type to another type, and that's actually the kind of cable we'll be making. Um, so let's click on side A. So when we click on that little gear logo, it'll pop this up, and uh, you can see that there's a couple dozen different options. Um, from you know the Pico Blade, the Microfit, Mini Fit, Milli Grid, Pico Clasp, Nano Fit, Ultra Fit, KK254, DuraClick, Mega Fit, ClickMate, etc., etc. Um, so the question is, what am I trying to connect to? So I decided, okay, let's pick this uh, sensor that I've got in the store. It's a, um, a QR, uh, sorry, it's a barcode scanner, and you can see there it's got this kind of like. USB cable thing that connects to like a, a white cable connector uh, with four wires going into it. Uh, and this is designed, you can just plug it right into your USB motherboard. But let's say I wanna have a custom cable um, because this is gonna be embedded into a microcontroller and I want to have those cables, um, I want this sensor to be at the end of my you know, mechanical connection or it's hanging out somewhere. And then a cable come ba comes back and then plugs into my main board which is going to have um, a 0.1 inch uh, standard header. So first off, let's connect to the sensor itself. So you know, it turns out that this is a Pico Blade 1.2, uh, 1.25 millimeter pitch 
uh, 11 pin connector. So let's select that. Uh, great. So you select uh, 11 circuits. I'm mean, tin plating is fine for me. Um, receptacle. There's also the other way around. So you can have like you know sometimes uh, cables can have the opposite um, connection type. So the photo that you see is actually the thing that you're going to get. So that's what I really like about this. As I was picking this out, it would show me a photo of exactly the connector, which is really handy because especially since like receptacle or plug, it's like it's it's counterintuitive sometimes depending on how you think of it. Um, so it's one row, Pico Blade 1.2, five millimeter pitch, great. Okay. So save this and go into the next step. Next step, um, we have to pick uh, the assembly wires. And so uh, I just picked 150 millimeters, which is about six inches. I don't care too much about the, the cable um, covering. You know, there's different UL certifications. I just sort of just picked the first one. Um, when you have to pick the wire gauge, there's only a couple options. In this case, it was like 28 or 26 because the crimp connectors can only take 26 or 28 uh, wire gauge. So depending on your connector, you're gonna have different wire gauges you can select. I just picked 28 because it's not high current carrying. Let's make it easy. Okay, so next up, um, we have to pick the other side. Um, so um, there's actually, one, one thing that I thought was interesting here is not every option is available. So um, you can, of course, of course, pick the same Pico blade on the other side, but you'll see like DuraClick, the two millimeter pitch that you can't make to it because the wire gauge is too thin. That's helpful. To crimp. So they tell you what's not possible. Yeah. They're like, you cannot connect. You can't make something that has these on the both ends. You'll have to have something in the middle or you have to come up with some yeah. other solution. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, so let's look at the device. So I only, you know, and this is a close-up of that um, barcode scanner. So you see that there's this 11 pin connector, but I'm actually only connecting to the first four pins, the first four wires, black, red, green, white for USB. It's because the rest of them are used for like UART or something. I don't want to connect to them. I only need those four wires. Um, okay, so next let's select um, a 2.54 millimeter pitch connector. This is the KK series. Uh, I want to have a, a 0.1 inch connector on the other side, and this one is compatible with the wire gauge. It only needs four circuits, because again, I only need those four USB pins. Um, single row, and then again, receptacle, I'll have headers in the board, and tin plating is fine. Okay, okay. so next up, pin out. pin out. So because we have two connectors and they're not equivalent, I kind of have to tell them which wires to plug into the first side to get into the second side, right? And so um, this is where we start making out the specification. Um, in this case, uh, the default actually turns out to be like perfectly fine for me. Um, it's the first four pins. If it was the middle pins, I'd have to, you know, click on the like update thing and then tell it like move over. Uh, and then um, the next step I can select the pin uh, wire colors. Okay. So on uh, this step. It has all uh, that too. Yeah, I tell it, you know, okay, these are the wire colors. So black for ground, red for power, and then green and white for data plus and data minus. Uh, and I like how it shows you where the latch is so you know what the polarity is, but then you'll see we also get a rendering. Um, and uh, you can edit the connection. So this is where you can start rearranging the pins if needed. Again, uh, it turns out that direct one-to-one -one is perfectly fine. Okay. Okay, cool. So next, uh, like extra fancy options now. Uh, woven braid's pretty cool. It's taping, you can get wire ties, labeling. I actually don't need any of that. It's just a simple cable. But uh, this is available. Of course, you'll pay more for it. It's becoming more advanced uh, assembly. Um, okay. So I'm not going to check these off and go next. All right. Okay, then I filled this out. Um, so the way it works is that I think Molex actually does the manufacturing, but then DigiKey does the sales and you know ships it to me um and uh you can request a sample though i will I, I did get an email saying that because of covid19 um the facility is uh very delayed and so it you know, you're not going to get a sample um nearly as quickly as usual it might take a couple weeks um okay so i filled this out click submit um you tell it um you know approximate uh annual usage that so can give you a, a quote for that amount and you submit it, and that's it. You're okay. done. Okay, great. Hooray. So then a day later, um, actually, sorry, uh, let, we'll, we'll get to the day later. So the next thing I want to show is, yes, you can get custom cables, but don't forget you can also get pre-made cables. Um, so mm -hmm. if you have 
a pretty standard, uh, you know, same end-to-end -end cables and, you know, you don't mind the wire colors being all the same. Uh, you can go to the off-the-shelf cable assemblies uh, that are available at Molex, and these are all available at DigiKey as well. So, for example, um, if you go to DigiKey and you just go to cable assemblies, you'll see they have 2,000 different cable assemblies, and some of these are USB cables. Um, sorry, they have more than 2,000. So 2,000, they have 300,000 total cable assemblies. Um, some of these are like, you know, D-sub cables, D-sub cables, but I also found um, that they had, you know, some PicoBlade to PicoBlade connectors. So it could be that um, for some low pin count, I think it's like, you know, six pins or less, you can get straight through cables or of various lengths for different connectors. So if you have the same connector on both ends, of course, you're gonna have an easier time getting a pre-assembled cable. And of course, those are gonna be cheaper and they're off the shelf so you can get them immediately. Yeah. Another option, um, if you're like me and maybe you're impatient, you don't want to wait for somebody to assemble a cable, but you hate crimping cables because it's so easy to accidentally nick the cable or it's just, it's just, it's just hard. Like you can do an okay job crimping, but to do a really good job, you really need the machine or be an expert. You can get uh, pre-crimped leads. So um, um, these wires uh, will fit you know, the Molex connectors. They have the, the socket or pin ends on them and then you just get the housings and you plug them in so that's a, a much easier way and that can be very fast because the time consuming part of of cutting stripping you know tinning crimping that's taken care of um and these are very inexpensive as well and they're available in multiple colors okay so you know while i was looking at this a day later i got an email and they give you uh, a rendering of the cable that's cool uh so it's it's cropped in a bit but it's um the you get a rendering of the whole cable and a step file so you can, you know, rotate it around and, and verify that the latch is on the side you want and the cable colors are what you want. So you can even see the black, red, green, white cables and the, the latches and the different connectors. And um, they'll also give you a data sheet, which is like automatically generated, which is kind of cool. So they show you, this is your spec sheet for the cable, which I actually think is pretty handy because like even if you end up not having Molex assemble your cable, but you're making a Molex cable, um, the fact that you can kind of get this just will, can save you a lot of time if you don't want to have to go through and like make or draw your own data sheet. So I thought this was pretty handy, um, especially if it's automated. Okay. All right. um, and so that's where you do it. We do have right. a video that we're going to play, and this is one minute of Molex. This is your Molex Minute. The Molex Minute. Yeah. Um, that kind of goes over some of this stuff, too. It's a good yes. video, so we want to play it. Take away Molex. With a Molex custom cable creator, you can start designing your own cables with Molex today. The Molex cable creator develops a custom cable solution, including cables, connectors, and accessories, all in one place. Choose from many different product connector families, circuit sizes, wire gauges, UL styles, cable lengths, and more. Our proprietary pinout configurator allows you to select wire colors and individual circuits for your unique applications. In addition to your free drawing and 3D model, you can request a quote and mechanical sample. The Molex Custom Cable Creator, available at molex.com. All right. Awesome. So I think, especially if you're in industry and you're like, I need a couple hundred cables, I need them really well made, uh, I don't want to wait, uh, you know, to, to get a quote from overseas or some other factory, uh, you know you're going to get Molex quality uh, and DigiKey will sell them to you and uh, That's right. toot sweet. So uh, check it out and uh, just for fun, you know, maybe just try it out, you know, no obligation to purchase, uh, design up a cable, uh, especially like getting the 3D model was super cool. Thanks for making that connection, Lady Ada. And that is... Hi, I'm MPI.